Spider-Man 2 has been out for a month already, so that means it's time to rip it to shreds. Why didn't you put this suit in the game? Was Peter nerfed? Why Black Spider-Man never said the N-word? I want to talk about a bigger discussion that plagues not even this game, but is starting to affect the character on almost all aspects of media. Multiple spider people. I'm not talking about the Spider-Verse, where in times of crisis, all spider sonas come together as a collective to fight a threat. That's fine. Because like I said, it's a time of crisis. They hardly ever see each other for real. I'm talking about multiple spider people all coexisting within the same vicinity. It's no longer just Peter Parker. It's Miles Morales. It's Silk. It's Spider-Woman. It's Spider-Woman. It's Spider-Woman. I don't know, man. Something about this was never sitting right with me. But I'm okay with the Bat family, and I'm okay with the Flash family. But Spider-Man? Hell no. Nah. This man has got to be by himself at all times. It really started to bother me when Spider-Man 2 was coming out for some reason. And don't get me wrong, I love the game. I love the characters as individuals, too. But something about them coexisting at the exact same time always bothered me. Growing up for me, Spider-Man was really the only solo hero. And even with him being the solo hero, he always got it done. And not even saying that other heroes didn't, because we also got a slew of superhero movies where the main character got it done. But as far as the comics, he kind of he kind of thugged that shit out. He always found a way, no matter what. And like I said, of course, there are occasions where, you know, some silly little aliens would take over the city and infect people twice and you know other heroes would step in hey man that was for shits and gigs man you know what i'm saying like i don't know why people took that shit so serious like this is clearly a prank even peter took this shit a little too seriously God, was trying to do a handstand. this was definitely a long time coming in the game verse at least because there was no way they could keep having valid excuses for why a peter was away or why b miles was away in times of crisis there, they, they, there, there just wouldn't be a good enough reason for that but at the end of the game where miles tells peter that he can take care of the city on his own I felt the balance in the universe was stored from the deepest pocket of my soul. I think another reason it bothered me is because Spider-Man to me was such a unique character that when you start to flood the area with more people with the exact same skill set as him, he starts to lose his attractiveness. Granted, the Spider family all have their weird, bizarre offshoot powers, but the base of them all remain the same, you know what I'm saying? So in essence, it's multiple of the same hero running around. I'm way more of a fan of the Spider-Verse concept. Like, I like 2099, but he is his timelines or universe of Spider-Man. Much like how Miles was his universe of Spider-Man before he poured him over to 616. I like when Spider-Man is on his own. I feel like it almost helps define how he is as a hero to an extent. When the walls are closing in on you and you feel like there ain't nothing else for you to do, you manage to dig deep and get back into the fight and find a way to prevail. But now with other spiders only a call away, it kind of waters it down a little bit when you just call your boy up for backup. Even the cartoons aren't safe. Now, I'm not opposed to a different version of Spider-Man. I don't really care who's under the mask. But I do like when they go through their own trials and tribulations alone. Help along the way is always welcome, but for the most part, alone. But the direction he's heading leads me to believe that the masses will start to believe that there's always going to be a need for multiple spiders and that one Spider-Man just isn't enough anymore.